Hi friends, the project I'm going to be sharing with you today is actually my walk-in pantry, which is behind me. And I feel like I need to preface this video by saying it's not the worst pantry in the world. It has gone through many manifestations since we moved into this house. More, um, most recently, it was a coat closet that we converted into a pantry with shelves. So um, this is a pretty big house and I could think of a thousand things to do with this little below the stairs space, but um, a coat closet was not one of them because this is Florida. So I took my existing pantry, which was in the kitchen and it was in a terrible location and I moved it into the under the stair. Um, extra coat closet. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now and the way I've done it now. And then I'll talk to you a little bit about what I'm going to do to make it even better. So one of my biggest gripes about the way the pantry is now is the wire shelves. And for more than one reason, first of all, they're really too wide to accommodate the jar storage that I have in here. And there's more, there's has to be more than one jar per shelf, which makes it a real challenge because I have all these different sizes for different size snacks and things that I need, but it makes it really hard to get to something in the back. You kind of have to bang around and rearrange things. And it basically makes my pantry a room that I have to keep a work in progress all the time because as soon as my family takes something out of the pantry, they automatically put the jar back in the wrong spot and it drives me crazy. So I really wanna streamline this look. Um, I wanna get rid of the wire shelves and put wood ones in that are the exact dimensions that I need where I can fit just one jar per shelf. We live in Florida where we have um, bugs and things that like to get to your food, especially considering where this closet is located, and I'll get to that in a moment. But um, not only that, but we have really high humidity here, so these jars keep my food really fresh, and I like the glass because I feel like that's the healthiest option for my family, which is totally a personal choice, but I like the glass. So these jars are not going anywhere um, as long as we live here, and so I'm going to rearrange my pantry to accommodate the way I like to store my food. Um, the last thing is the lovely little curtain here that I have um, behind door number one. And this is actually not the Wizard of Oz. This is our air conditioning exchange or exchange unit. Um, so this is this was a coat slash utility closet. So I hung a tension rod at the top of this closet when we first moved in, and it just hides all this. But it's a necessary thing. It's not going anywhere, and I have to be able to access it too in case there's a problem with it or whatever. So I can't totally wall this in. Um, but I'm really excited to share this project with you because this is, it ends up being such a source of frustration for me. So, um, even though it's not the worst, it could be a whole lot better. Okay. So here is what the pantry looks like now. As you can see, I added extra shelves to the door that just gives us storage space as well as a little small wall mounted spice rack and I've added these lower shelves. The only shelf that was ex existing before was this one right here. That was the existing shelf and it was used to hang coats. So I took this little below the stair space and converted it into a walk-in pantry, which has served my family really well. It's nice and spacious and you can step in. Carpet is on my list of things to replace. And then over here, I've added shelves um, all the way down to the bottom. And this is where I put my uglier stuff, like the bags of chips and breads and things like that. They don't look so nice. I like to have the look of the, the jars here on the shelves. It just looks tidier when you walk into the pantry. And then of course I added another shelf and used every available amount of wall space. Now I'm gonna get all this crap out of here and I'll show you what it looks like when it's empty. So on the wall behind me is already the Rubbermaid Closet Made Shelf Bracket System. And if you're not familiar with this product, I'm actually gonna post the link to it below in the description box from Home Depot so that if you are interested in this product, you can order it right from there. But 
Um, it works really well because it allows you to customize the height of your shelves. And for this project, because some of my jars are 8 inches, some of them are 12, some are 10, etc, etc, I want them exactly custom so that I don't have really deep shelves where I'm knocking things over to get to the back. So these shelves are going to be narrow and long and exactly the height that I want them. This is great, but it's only 5 feet high. So I just need to add more pieces and I'll be getting those at the Home Depot and I'll be just adding more pieces to this but I wanted to talk about the shelf system because this really works great for customization and it is it allows you to grow with the shelving system I know it doesn't look the greatest it's not my favorite aesthetically but it's really great as far as being able to in the long run um, accommodate exactly whatever it is that you need at that moment now I chucked the wire shelves I hate wire shelves I don't like them at all so what I'm gonna be using is just planks of lumber that I'm gonna purchase at Home Depot and have them cut them to length for me and then I'm gonna paint them to match the walls so I'm gonna gather up all my supplies and I'll meet you back here to show you what's next so after my trip to Home Depot, I decided that I am going to do these shelf brackets, the new ones in black, because they do offer black in certain sizes. They don't offer the support bar, but they do offer the shelf, the things that the shelf uh, brackets hang into. So they do sell that those. So what I'm going to do since I'm going to paint this whole pantry black is I actually decided to paint the existing shelf brackets that I have here. I'm just going to paint them right on the wall with spray paint. And normally I don't use spray paint in the house at all because it's very nasty, obviously. But in this case, it'll be so much easier for me to just hit these existing white shelves with the black spray paint. Now that my walls are all painted and ready to go, it's time for me to focus on the floor. And I know that I, sh I zoomed down to the floor in some of the earlier footage, but I just wanted to point out that it was carpeting and I have removed it. Whenever you do a project that includes part of the ceiling, the walls, and the floor, you always want to start at the top and work your way down. That way, if your paint drips or whatever, it doesn't damage your brand new painted floor. So now that my walls and the ceiling part of this pantry are done, as you can see, I'm going to be doing the floor, and I ripped out the carpet, and this is what I'm working with, which is a concrete slab floor and it has a lot of construction adhesive and debris on it already from when the builders built the house and they love to just slop stuff around and then put carpet over the top of it. So how I'm going to be um, mitigating this issue is I'm gonna be using my handy scraper. I have used this for a million projects, guys. You absolutely have to have one and I will put the links in the description box below if you wanna buy one because it's just, I used it like a thousand times. It really is awesome. This. For this particular project, I'm going to be just prepping and painting the floor for now. This will just give me a quick five minute way of updating it without spending a lot of money. All freshly painted. And since it's primer, it's just in primer white. There's no color to it at all whatsoever. And in order to protect the paint, I just bought I got lucky and I bought an area rug for the floor that fits it perfectly. So that way if jars fall or cancel or whatever, it won't explode and this will give, provide a little bit of a cushion for it until I can do a permanent solution on the floor. And I actually really like the way it looks and I think it'll be perfect for now for us. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the shelving that I'm using. So this is a one inch thick board by eight inches deep by six feet long. They come in six foot long sections or longer depending on how you want your shelves. And I have painted them black already. So I actually use a glossy version of the paint that's on the wall. What's on the wall is flat black from PPG. It's called Black Magic. And then the shelving is a semi-gloss. And that just allows me to wipe them off a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang the shelves.
So the last thing I'm going to do in this pantry remodel or makeover is I'm going to add a couple more shelves. So I've used the closet apparatus that exists here already to get as many or squeeze in as many shelves as I possibly can, but I still like to have some more because I do like to store larger items. And I am working with a pitched ceiling, as you can see. So that takes a little bit of uh, finagling to get that to work out right. So what I've purchased is black closet made rods. They're not exactly the same as the other because they do not have a notch. I'm just gonna use the ones that go right onto the wall and I'm gonna try to get at least one of these rods into a stud. I think there's only one stud in the wall behind me. But since my ceiling is sloped like it is, I was able to purchase three of the 25 inch size um, but I did have to cut down one to fit my pitch ceiling. So we used a hacksaw for that. You can also use a sawzall or something like that to cut this down. And then that way it fits in the space that I need it. And I'll kind of show you how that's going to up here. So this one is my shorter of the two that we had cut down. I'm going to go straight over to the wall as far as I can. And then this one's a little bit longer. And as you can see, I'll be able to grab a stud here in the middle and then one along the edge. Now for me, it's important that my brackets be spaced evenly apart because aesthetically they match the wall. So you will never be able to see it with the jars there. But the most important thing is that you catch a stud if you're going to put any weight on them. Okay, so now I'm starting to load things back into the pantry and I want, really want to show you guys this cool product. So it is a can holder and they look like this. And they're not really that big. They're really kind of tiny, but they hold so much stuff. Let me show you exactly how much stuff this, these things hold. Okay, so here are the two racks that I have. And here are all the canned foods I have. And I don't know if you can tell the size of this box, but it is gigantic here. Let's see if I can show it to you better. There is an absolute ton of stuff in there. You would not believe if you saw it that it would fit on these two racks. So I'm going to load all the canned goods onto the racks and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. You, every household should have these guys. They're awesome and if you're interested in buying them, I'll put the links below in the description box. jars are back in place and the closet is reorganized just the way I want it it's time to show you the after photos and I'm so excited to share that with you guys because I really love the way this turned out I think it's awesome so all of the products that I use in the video and in the tutorial are down below in the description box so if you're interested in purchasing them you can do it right from there or if you just want to check it out and see what exactly I've used um, you can find that information there from the before and after, I did not add any product. All the product that I had in the pantry already is what I used before, but it looks so different now. With the shelves the way they are, you might think I added something and I did not. It's just the difference between having a shelf that fits your stuff and having a shelf that doesn't. And what I lost in the depth of shelves, I gained so much more in doing the shelves the exact depth, width, and height that I needed them. So I'm so excited the way it turned out and to show it to you. And I really appreciate all your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell below to, so you don't miss any of my content when I release it. And usually that's on Fridays. Thank you so much for watching and have a happy DIY.